So that life insurance quote, when they're talking about how to predict these events, they're literally, you know, I've worked with some of those uh, executives in the industry. They're, they're asking us our opinions on what markers they can test. They're worried about all of the things that we know about, like the microclotting, everything that's happening in the body that's causing these deaths, the distribution of spike. They want to try to find markers and something to mitigate all of the dying. And, you know, there's not enough research. It would take, it, it, you know, the government should be funding a massive study into uh, not only epidemiologically, but uh, you know, pathophysiological and exactly what they're dying from, how, and can it be prevented. But here's the problem, Jenny, and this is what you know. The reason why nothing's being done is because to do something, you have to identify the problem, or you have to talk about the problem. You have to admit that the vaccines are the cause. And you can see that around the world, there's no appetite for doing that. I mean, the, the, the psychology of all of those you know, obsessive pro-vaxxers and all the people who coerced and lost our livelihoods, and they literally are responsible for this massive waves of death. And it's not just this country. The UK has seen a lot of countries excess mortality is up around the world. And so who wants to talk about that when you were part of that? If you were responsible, there's zero appetite to it. And then also all the moneyed interest that made all those hundreds of billions of dollars, um, do they want to talk about how they made that money on, 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 on the back of a wave of death? 